Dr. Human, thank you for making time to meet with us. Um, just in terms of the, the rubber industry in South Africa, give us a bit of a, a synopsis of a uh, summation of, of, of where we're standing from, in the, from a tyre perspective. The, the four local tyre manufacturers have been in, the, in this country since the early 1930s. Um, and at the moment there are six factories now. Um, there's actually a fifth, uh, Apollo from India, um, of, uh, have sold off the Ladysmith plant to Sumitomo Rubber Industries. So there is a fifth company that is entering this country as well. So that's actually good for the confidence in this country. Um, but the, the local manufacturers with their six factories have over the years been, been preparing for this or making ties for the South African market, uh, which is a very um, a market that, that, that's demanding in terms of the trucking and, and vehicle vehicles and the, the conditions that we have. And if I talk about conditions, I mean the, the heat and long distances and loads. And then in the mining industry, of course, that is another big issue. So tires is not just an issue, uh, a commodity that you can just import like cigarettes for argument's sake and just sell them out of a container. There's a service that goes with it. When you're dealing with a trucking company, you have to go to the trucking company. They will then compare your tires. What do, th what do you, they get out of it in terms of cents per kilometer or probably now rands per kilometer? Uh, can they retread those because th they have to retread many of their tires or well, they do that for economical reasons which then goes on the trailer wheels um, uh, for uh, to, to, to reduce the, the, their costs. Um, lately uh, for the last six years now the the the, the markets or the, the f manufacturing operations in countries like China, uh, South Korea, Malaysia um, have developed uh, very well. They've got good operations um, and um, the South African manufacturers do not have got no problem with that. It's always a good thing to have competition. It is just the problem that when <coughs> tires are actually uh, dumped in this country that, that we have a, a problem um, because you do find that certain factories have, far, have excess capacity and with other countries like the US and Turkey and the EU um, that are actually installing uh, anti-dumping regulations, um, the Chinese and these people are now focusing on, on Africa and Southern Africa uh, to channel their excess production uh, into, into this direction. And to do that, of course, they bring them in at, at sometimes at, at cost lower than the, the actual raw material cost of that tire. So that's unfair competition and it's, it's, it's in, in conflict with the World Trade Organization rules, in fact. And uh, just touching briefly on your, on the, uh, your tire recycling uh, plan, uh, give us a bit of a, an update in that in terms of where the initiative is, is heading towards. The, the industry, the Thai industry uh, in South Africa, uh, or the suppliers to the industry, which, which constitutes the, the importers, and there are a number of importers um, and, and local manufacturers, have for the last 13 years been working on a plan, the so-called SETRP plan, uh, which they believe is, is, is the way to go. And it's been benchmarked against Aliopur in France. Uh, which have actually offered their assistance in, in, in putting this together. Um, unfortunately, or um, yeah, <laughs> other, other plans have been approved and we, the industry has no problem with that. Uh, but there, there's a plan, Redisa, that is operating um, and they are being paid millions of, I believe, to in, something in the order of 60 million rands a, a month um, and they, they should have started collecting waste tires already. Uh, that is as per their contract with government uh, because the plan has been gazetted. Mm -hmm. So therefore they, they are obliged to, from, this, from September last year, should have started collecting waste tires from their Thai dealers, mm -hmm. which they're not doing. They also haven't set up recycling operations. So therefore the, 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 the consumers, like the mines and so forth, and the tire dealers have got a major problem to get rid of the waste tires, and these are now being dumped in the felt. Um, and if you go on Google Earth, you can actually see uh, uh, large quantities of, of tires that are being dumped in, in Swartclub in the Eastern Cape, in False Bay. Um, you can actually see that from the satellite photographs. 
um, and the, the landfill sites do not accept waste tires at the moment, so we're sitting with a massive problem. And Rodiso is spending money on, I believe they spend 65 million rand on, on research with universities, which is great, but, um, but there's, there's not, not one tire is being collected and nothing is being, being recycled at the moment. There are existing operations that are recycling tires, but they're small. I mean, they, they deal with about 2 to 3 percent of the waste tires that are created in South Africa. So the industry is not happy because we need competition in that field as well. So more than one plan has to be, has to be gazetted so that any supplier to the, to the market in South Africa can choose which plan they want to belong to.